guess I can say goodbye to my separation anxiety because the Globetrotters didn't abandon me. My dad did, which is way worse, because that ain't never going away. <laughs> Oh, God, not that guy again. Hello, Stan. Long time no partially see. Oh, my God! Stan, who is this? Just the most awesome super spy that ever lived. Francine, kids, meet Jack Smith, my real dad. Sorry, gang, but for the last four decades, I've been hip deep in the blood of America's enemies. I can't believe you chose a life of crime over the most precious jewel of all, a son's love. Ooh, hold on a second. Hello, French Riviera? Yes, can I buy a chateau with my son's love? Yes, yes, we all know the bit. When Stan was a little boy, and his father left them. Is it my fault? Stan, look at me. Kind of. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama. I'll take care of you. I know you will. That's my little man, Stan. Are you and your dad close? Daddy, will you read to me? Who the hell are you? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, here comes your girl. Get ready for your victory kiss. Don't think of Tommy Bennett. Tanqueray, let me break it down for you. Exposing your body for money is wrong. The only people who should see you naked are your mother, your doctor, and your best friend in third grade. Just that one time, under the waterfall. Jeremy Davis. Can I help you? Shh, shh, shh. Every man has a weakness. What is his? I notice you shave against the grain. What? I do the same thing. My dad wasn't around to teach me any different. Neither was mine. A good and decent man. Son of a bitch! What are you doing? He was making a break for it. Why'd you shoot? I was just pulling up the car. Yeah, Dad, jeez. Oh, great. Now it's making a black tinkle out of the hoozy water. Mom taught me about cars because you were gone. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, look how high I'm going! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, this is, this is so much, this is so much fun! Oh God! Oh God! That's no surprise. I mean, your father walked out on you when you were four. You inherited all of his responsibilities. You never really had a childhood. I... I didn't? No, you're in way over your head. Hey, Stanny boy! Fantastic! Get up here! The view is amazing! Did you hear that? They gave us nicknames. The only nickname I ever got was in eighth grade. They called me Stan Frank because I was always hiding and writing in my diary. I need this new nickname, Francine. Now get your buns moving! In high school, my nickname was Super Friend. Actually, it was Super Mouth. Actually, it was Suck Machine. They called me Stan the Man. There was a girl in my class named Stan. I had a bully once. Stelio Contos was his name. He was as mean as he was Greek. He made my life a living hell. He totally tormented me. One time he made me keep a live bat in my underpants all day. Gave me ass rabies. My anus was frothing like a cappuccino. You see, Steve, the good thing about bullies is they don't just go away. You're forced to deal with them. How did you deal with Stelio? Mmm, good story. He moved away. I was eight years old and my dad had just left us. I thought I'd never be happy again. Come on, Stan. Little did I know she was taking me to the happiest place on Earth. Hey, little guy. I heard your dad walked out on you because he didn't love you enough to stay. But I know what'll make you feel better. At that moment, I was 100% sure I was going to be molested. But it was even better. Forget about the menu. Tonight you can have whatever you want. Can I have a licorice burrito? Now you're talking! That was a magical night. I had chocolate-covered hot dogs. I had cherry pie pizza. I had the third worst diarrhea of my young life. We saw you waiting for your day. And Usher told us he'd pounded a Sprite, burped the words time for some strange, and jogged off into the night. We offered to take you home, but you didn't know where you live. 
My dad said it was important I never know our address in case I was ever captured and tortured by people looking for him. Four weeks later, your dad showed up, and we had to give you back. Except you didn't like that idea. No, I'm staying with you guys. Well, you can, because... We don't want you around! Okay? Go on, get out of here! I say, get out of here! I learned so much in school today. Get this, the sun is a star. Enough with the questions. Can't you bore that pen pal I set you up with? They hanged him on Christmas. Are you here to tuck me in? Get an imaginary friend to tuck you in. It's Quailu time, people! What, that loser? No way. <laughs> it was me who didn't stick up for you in middle school. What are you talking about? You got the memory reversed. That can't be. Do you really not remember? Well, how about it? You out here with Smith? What? That loser? No way. Daddy? Hello, son. I love you. Wait, that's not how Grandpa talks. He says I love you with a cup check. I'll tell you why. His memories are being put through a nostalgia filter. Get out of here. I'm busy. Go play in your treehouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go play in my treehouse. Treehouse! Oh, yeah, I remember that. Ooh, I'm where I discovered my first dead body. Oh, there's my special guy. The father-son picnic. And as usual, my dad, Jack, was the only one who didn't show up. I felt so alone. But then, then I wasn't. After that, I came back every day after school. And I know this sounds crazy, but the tree raised me. He taught me how to play catch. He watched me grow. He helped me start my first business. Even gave me my product. Turns out magnolia juice is as poisonous as it is delicious. And no matter what, he kept me safe. His mighty roots connected me to something constant. Something I could depend on when so often life is cruel and unreliable. He has been, and always will be, there for me. Addicted to American Dad. I thought you died. No. Oh, okay.